Well, happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to our final day of our virtual VBS. I am so, so thankful that we got to have you all this week, um, and I hope each and every one of you had a great time, and I can't wait to see all of your crafts and whatnot, um, but today we have Elise here who is going to help us with our last story of the day. But to start off, we're going to have Mr. Eric sing us a song. Hi, Louisa. Hi, Louisa. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Can we do it one more time a little bit faster? A little bit faster. Yeah. A little faster. Faster. Okay. <laughs> This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. That is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made it. So we are going to turn it over to Elise, who is going to tell us our story today. All right. Hi, everyone. Everyone, look, look what I've got here. Look what I've got here. You know, it's the color gold. Something inside must be precious like gold. Perhaps there's a parable inside. Parables are even more valuable than gold. You know, the box is also closed. There's a lid on it. Sometimes, even if we're ready, we can't get inside a parable. But parables are like that. They are hard to enter, and sometimes they stay closed. To go inside, you need to be ready. This also looks like a present. Well, parables are presents. They were given to you a long time ago, before you were even born. Even, even if you don't know what a parable is, a parable is already yours. You don't have to take them. You don't have to buy them. You don't have to get them in any way. They already belong to you. I have an idea. How about we look inside? Are you ready? Huh. I wonder what this could be. It's very green. Green, green, green. I wonder if it's something that a frog sits on in a pond. I wonder if it's the top of a tree. Or what if it's a big leaf from a big tree? Hmm. I wonder if there's something on the other side. Hmm. There's always another side. Huh, I wonder if there's something else that can help us. Oh, look at this. I wonder what this could be.
I wonder if it's a place to look through to the other side. I wonder if it's one of those things that you can see your face in. Hmm. Wonder what else is in the box. Look at these things. They sort of look like shadows. They're really dark. I wonder what they could be. Sometimes people think they can see a face in these things. I wonder what else is inside our box. Huh, I wonder what this could be. Maybe it's a log. Maybe it's a path for us to walk on. Hmm. Well, here's another one. Maybe the path is between these two things. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. You know what this reminds me of? Maybe, maybe it's goalposts for football. <laughs> I don't know. Here's another one. Now, sort of like a baseball diamond. Hmm. Let's make a gate so that maybe things can come inside and outside. So things that can get, that are in can get out and things that are out can get in. Hmm. Well, there's a lot more in here Let's keep building up. All right, it's getting a lot stronger. I wonder what this could really be. It could be a house, but everything's flat, so I don't think it's a house. You know, maybe it's a place for animals. Have you been to a place that looks like this for animals? I wonder what animals live inside here. Look what I found. Sheep live inside here. It's a place for sheep. I wonder how many sheep there are. Here's one. Here's another. Here's another one. There's another one. Wow, this many, this many sheep. Maybe there are only this many, or maybe there's many, many more. You know, there was once someone who said amazing things and did such wonderful things that people followed him. 
as they followed him, they began to wonder who he was. Finally, one day, they just asked him. Once, they asked him who he was, and he said, I am the good shepherd. Look, here's the good shepherd. He said, I am the good shepherd, and I know each sheep by name. When I take the sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. I walk in front of them, so I show them the way. I show them the way to the good grass. I also show them the way to cool, clear, fresh water. And sometimes when there are places of danger, I show them how to go through. I count each sheep as they go inside. Hmm. Huh. If one sheep go missing, if one sheep goes missing, I would go and look for the lost sheep. I would go to the green grass. I would go to the water. I would even go to the places of danger. And when the lost sheep is found, And when the lost sheep is found, I bring it back to the sheepfold. I carry it on my shoulders safely back to the sheepfold. When all the sheep are inside, I am so happy that I can't be happy just by myself. I invite all of my friends and we have a great feast. Now this is the ordinary shepherd. When the ordinary shepherd takes the sheep from the sheepfold, 
he doesn't know always where they go. The sheep wander. Then, when the wolf comes, see the wolf? Ooh. When the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But it's the good shepherd. It's the good shepherd that even when the wolf comes, he stands between the sheep and the wolf. He puts his life between the wolf and the sheep so that they can get safely back to the sheepfold. Now, I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep feel happy inside the sheepfold. I wonder where this place could really be. I wonder if we've ever come close to such a place. I wonder if we've ever found good green grass. I wonder if we have ever found clear, cool water. I wonder if you've ever had to go to a place of danger. I wonder how you got through. I wonder if you've ever been lost. I wonder if you've ever been found. I wonder if the Good Shepherd has ever called your name. I wonder where the whole place could really be. Here is the Good Shepherd. And look, here are the sheep. And here is the water. And here is the dangerous place. And here 
is the sheepfold. And the grass. That's all I have for my story. Well, thank you, Elise, for that story. I know that that is one of my favorite, favorite stories, but we are going to turn it back over to Mr. Eric for our next song, and then we'll end with our children's creed and our children's prayer. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So let's put our hands together for our children's creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe his spirit, too, comes to teach us what to do. Amen. And then we are going to end our time together, our last day together, singing our children's prayer. For this new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for every gift your goodness sends, we thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. We thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. Wonderful. Well, thank you all for joining today. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, and I am had so much fun this week on our journey through the parables. And I can't wait to see you all in person soon, so feel free.